Hey everyone, Meowsity here, back playing Vampire Survivors today, and we have a little bit of a change in pace from what we're kind of were doing. We're still going to be unlocking things because we only have 14 more to go, but I've decided that we should probably be aiming for the rest of the random module before we kind of go back to the bone zone. So with that being said, let's just kind of go down the list and start this episode with Porto. For all these characters, we only need to get to level 50. So with that being said, we're going to start with Porto here. I don't think we've ever used him. So he starts with the Lightning Ring. He has permanent plus 30% area. Starts with a temporary cooldown bonus. We're going to be going to Green Acre since I don't think I've really given this place much of a shot. It's got a 30 minute time limit. So... Let's go. And I'm going to be using the Twilight Requiem. Listed weapons, projectiles generate explosions when they expire. Explosion damage is affected by curse. So that's going to be the Lightning Ring, the Thunder Loop, and a few other weapons. I'm probably going to be going for the Unholy Vespers as well, which is affected by this. So we'll see what happens. Let's re-roll. I don't think I want any of those. Eh, the whip might be worth it. Not that anything is, you know, getting close to me, but... Right, we'll get our normal whip, so we know we can meld those together. And that'll be our health recovery item. Once it uh, actually evolves to it, there's the hollow heart for it. Uh, we'll level up other whip, the blue one, Vento Sacro, I think it's called. Lightning ring, more projectiles, more damage. I'm not interested in any of those, so we'll re-roll. I want the Skullomaniac for the Skullomaniac for the um, Song of Mana, so we'll take that. Whip up, because that's one that's gonna give us health regen faster. Lightning ring. Track door because I'm going to be going for Santa Water again, probably. Oh, whip so we can get health up faster. Lightning ring, more damage, because it's doing amazing right now. I 
kind of just knocking him back. That's kind of funny. You shall not pass. Right, uh, I'm thinking I wanted the Vespers. We'll take this. Our Santa water. Whip up. And as easy as these things are to kill, once again, they're kind of annoying. Never know when they're truly dead. <laughs> Ring area up. Ease your health recovery in a bit. Decimating stuff. <laughs> Go. Whip up. That's level six. Slow down, but get a little harder, it looks like. I suppose. ones are just hard to kill and kind of slow. what I want my last weapon to be.
sand to water. Sure, this is gonna evolve my stuff, but sand to water again. They're moving a little faster. That's fine. Right, what do we get? Whip up. Going to skull maniac, so they come at us a little more, but the purse is going to do a little more, so I think it evens out. Not sure on that. We're going to find out though, that's for sure. All right, King Bible. Oh, yeah, that was going to be on there. Evolution. Probably should have waited a little bit on picking that up. Pretty sure I have to wait till 10 minutes. Empty tome. That'll be useful. That's either going to be a random ozzle or our first evolution. Bunch of good upgrades, but no evolution, which is kind of sad. Alright, we'll get the Vento again. Right, I need the Duplicator. That's what I think I'm missing. That's why the Lightning Ring can't upgrade. Let's get our random Monzo at least. Alright, totally spaced on the fact that we didn't have the uh, duplicator. Let's look for that. Alright, well. Got a few chances left yet. Alright, Divine Bloodline, that's not going to be helpful with the items we chose. I don't think this goes to upgraded versions of stuff. Slash... maybe... Our bounds, no. Overall area. I kind of want that, but I also want this, so... get healing for now and then the blue glue if we make it.
um, get the Vento for now. One more level. There's a Vento Max. Keep that chest as is for now, knowing it's there. Um, in Bible. our whip. There's the whip evolution. Other one is Max, so if we take him down we probably get an evolution. Wait, there's that. Now stuff's just exploding. Alright, we don't want any of that, so let's banish the Stone Mask. Get the King Bible. Santa Water. Santa Water. wave of stuff. Interesting. I guess it did say it was stuff from every level. Um, we'll get the attract orb if our stuff up a little faster. Empty tome. Attack faster. This money right here. the garlic. Weapons are more prudent right now to get what we need. Okay, now there's lightning coming down? Alright. That could be bad quickly. Um, Bellbinder. X lasts longer. King Bible. Get that leveled up. There's our Song of Mana. Song of Mana. King Bible.
There's our duplicator. A little more auxiliary things coming in. Now I just want the bracelet. King Bible. Oh, Galio's right there. Do I have anything to level up? Yeah. There's the Thunder Loop. I think it's gonna get up teen times better now. Santa Water. Explosions are going off like crazy. Oh, hollow Heart. Nothing to evolve quite yet, so we'll just take note of this being here. We're getting there, though. Ah, uh, Empty Tome, that's Max, attacking at pretty good speed. Boss. Oh, no, never mind, but take that orb. Sand water. Bomb mana, duplicator. I should upgrade the Santa water to Labora. Our level 50 mark with Porta here. So that's one random Ozo down. However, I'm gonna keep going just so we can try to get some money upgrades that we kind of need, and maybe other characters we might unlock in the future, because I will be getting the expansion for this. Just quite yet. Like a spell binder. Not really a fan of these mummies either. It really slows down the pace. Oh, here's a clover. Bible maxed out. This should be Unholy Vespers. Alright, we're going to banish the Fire Wand. Get, get, 
trap for Song of mana up. Song of mana again. Um, a tractor. Finding the other weapon I need that would make this so much easier. <laughs> Hollow Heart. Hazo. Then go for Boogaloo. Get that area up. Last hollow heart. I think these are stage killers. Didn't know I could get them here. Uh, Skull of Maniac. Get the uh, explosion first going up. Skull of Maniac. the wand yeah there's just some weapons I really don't like song of mana isn't one of them so I'll take that <laughs> If I had money for more seals, there would be a lot more weapons sealed away. Let's put it that way. Last song of mana, let's upgrade it. There we go, bracelet. Bracelet. Kind of interesting to see all the stuff they're gonna throw at me because we already saw stage killers, which were one of the last things in um, Hella Manga. Right. I can level up the bracelet enough, there's enough to fully evolve it. There's five, I need one more. this, evolve it. Good 
This only has... Oh, it does have six levels. Never mind. This level's not the greatest for money, is it? Oh well. It's kind of fun, so... It's too... Okay, player now. Four. And last one. Fully evolved, now just level it again, I think. levels. I have more boring plants, just because they're so hard to kill and don't really do much. Second to last level, and we're back in full fever. Kind of havoc we can wreck. I kinda wish these were permanent upgrades, even if it was just for the character, but I 100 understand. 100% understand why they aren't. That would be way too broken. Like a 3% might upgrade permanently. Yeah. Although I suppose that's why you would go in with like a one weapon thing. Just so you can get one very overpowered weapon. I don't know how much I'm actually killing now, I'm just knocking them back. Kind of funny. <laughs> Got another minute and a half of this. I am leveling up though, so I mean, I am getting a few at least.
and the area up slash like explosion uh, random ozos really are showing that they are worth it to me. Regardless of how much it uh, ups or minuses right now, I think it's giving me a static 75% uh, area up. Let's just cash it in. We're not. Oh, hit the wrong button. We're not killing him. Oh, tragic princess. Porta? I guess Porta's a female. Wouldn't have guessed. Um, let's see what that is really quick. The cooldown of listed weapons reduces while moving. That could be fairly interesting as well, depending upon what weapons are in it. So that was worth unlocking, I think. So next time we will be doing Imelda, I think. And if I get enough money after that, I will be sealing the magic wand away. So stay tuned for that. Thank you everyone for watching. It's been very fun. If you have any suggestions, things you'd like to see, characters you'd like me to use or challenges or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.